Hello, my name's Michael Keneally, and this video invites you to enrol on our Rune course. And so the website is www.runepath.com. The address is down below, and remember to put the hyphen in between Rune and Path. And basically, the runes are the alphabet of the ancient Norse, and each rune actually has a magical and spiritual dimension about a particular area of our life. And so we're going to be doing a little presentation on each of the runes. And we're starting with the first rune, Feo, which is the rune of value. So what happens in the course is that you're sent a couple of audios. One is a presentation about the meaning of each rune and the second is a guided journey so that you can encounter the rune and work out how the area of life is manifesting in your life and if necessary heal and change it. So the teachers, Leah Cruz uh, in California and myself here in the west of Ireland, Michael Keneally. And by the way, for a small extra cost, if you particularly want to change how a particular rune is manifesting in your life, there's a rune magic work where you can be supported through doing magic to alter the way the principle of each rune manifests in your life. The course has been going for, I think it's 24 years now, very well established. Uh, you know, very learned, very caring. So basically, wh what is the rune Feo and why is it the first rune? Well, it's the rune of value. And the whole point is, if we don't value ourselves, it's very difficult for us to make the journey of life. We're hobbled terribly right from the start. And often a wound to value is obviously from our parental upbringing and from our ancestry but we can't just go on having our life ruined because we can't value ourselves because we can't value what we speak and so forth and so the audio presentation and the journey take you through an assessment of how value manifests in your life but it's not just, just words, although words are sacred. There's also the important principle of embodiment. We need to bring into our body the energy of each rune. And so in the case of rune one, Feo, we need to embody value. And so we do that during the journey. But there are other ways as well. Now there's an associated little video showing what's called rune stars. And so for each rune, it is so necessary for us to stand in the shape of the rune. And so in the case of Feu, one would do this. And you can have a look at the, at the little video where a local guy's doing the rune stance and its address is down below in the YouTube presentation where the website for our course also is. And so you stand embodying Feo. And to my mind, Feo, well, well, for the ancient Norse, when they travelled northwards towards the northern lands, their wealth and value was their cattle. So you can imagine them almost doing this and their cattle spread out before them. And led by great god Odin, they arrived at the northern lands and they found a home there, but only after terrible warfare with the indigenous people, the Vanir. But then after the truce, there was a most beneficial political, military and spiritual sharing between the Vanir and the Aesir gods of the Norse. But 
we don't just stand embodying the rune, although that is so beneficial, we also chant the rune. So that's called Galda, chanting each rune while you're doing the rune stars. And then you write to Leah or myself saying, you know, what you saw were your issues of value, what issues maybe particularly were flagged up and what you're doing to heal them which will include rune stance and rune chant so this is a brief presentation but i think you can see how wonderful the course is and there are 24 runes each of which is about a special area of your life so uh, go to the website www.runepath.com rune-path.com and enrol and you will gain such benefits including cross-referencing to your western and your Vedic astrology and the insights from that as well. Thank you.